for a number of applications like the surveillance one or I think Sebastian also mentioned one with um, drone based agricultural things um, you would more often than not of course use uh, natural light for that um, the good news with natural light is it's free it's uh, also across the entire wavelength um, so the, the light of the sun is not just limited to the visible range um, but does cover also the entire sphere spectrum um, the disadvantage of course is also it's not uh, super reliable right? there, there can um, can be a right fluctuation in conditions and if you want to have a really um, rule-based controlled application indoors um, you probably resort to artificial lighting sources um, standard choice could be a, a a broadband halogen light um, continuously operating. Um, the disadvantage of that would be heat. Um, if, if you want to have something that is um, you know, operating at a lower temperature uh, and, and optimize for a certain wavelength characteristics, um, one thing we've seen emerging over the recent years is narrowband LED lights optimized for uh, very specific wavelengths now to give a sharper um, uh, contrast and then make, um, make use of the certain optical footprint of the material or object that you are inspecting.